What's going on guys, pro for security here, back with another video. So for today, we're gonna go ahead and review the two pistols that are very, very popular right now in the market for um, you know the compact and subcompact categories. Um, and that is the six hour P320X compact versus the P365XL. I'm going to go ahead and um, go over some of their differences or similarities, some of the pros and cons of each, and we'll go ahead and give it a score from 1 to 10 on my personal experience with both of these so far. And um, if I had to, I guess I would choose one of the two at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and start by showing that both of these firearms are completely safe for inspection. So there you have the P320 X Compact, cleared and ready to go. Let's go ahead and do the same for the P365 XL. And now it is also ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the P320 X Compact first. First thing I really like about this pistol is the design. It's a gun that really looks like it belongs in, you know, 2019 even if for the upcoming years for 2020 and plus so that's one thing i like about it it's a very very nice looking design and sig really paid attention to every single detail i mean let's go ahead and start with the uh rail here at the bottom for the accessories you know they made sure to include that they even added texture here on the trigger guard uh, you also have the tritium sights right out of the box with um, an outline on the front sight with a green that stands out and is very, very bright. So it's going to give you a great focus point when you're aiming, you know, uh, down the sights. So that is a huge, huge plus for this pistol here. Now, um, the trigger, also new. Uh, they went ahead and uh, moved forward with a flat trigger. Supposedly, it's supposed to have uh, or give you better control of uh, either too much finger placement, too little finger placement. That way, you get a consistent and solid shot every time. Um, so, I, I really appreciate you know all these little details that are going into the gun. You know, even the removable plate here, where you can actually add an optic such as a Sig Romeo One or a Trigicon or any other brand of your choice that you personally um you know prefer but um this is a great great gun great great you know um uh, featured overall for a category where it just hits every mark i mean it is phenomenal let's talk about this little bad boy here because we don't want him getting jealous this is a p365 xl uh, also brand new, um, the P365, the standard one has been out for a little bit of time now. It comes with the 10 round mag and the little extended 12 round wedge where you get, you know, the two extra, the two extra rounds, which a lot of people actually do because the 10 rounds actually gives you that dangling finger, you know, which nobody likes. So Almost everybody that has the standard P365, they carry it with 12 rounds with the extended mag wedge. Now, um, the standard P365 is also a little bit shorter on the barrel. I'm guessing it's more or less where this frame here ends, just to kind of give you an idea. So that's the main difference. And um, you also have the new flat trigger which um, again breaks right at the 90 degree mark straight down the, the, uh, the line and um, has an amazing reset. It's very responsive, very loud and um, you, you actually you know, can take consistent shots knowing right where you left off on the shot prior. So very good job on the trigger here Sig. And um, I also like the fact that um, you can also uh, remove, I guess, the, uh, the uh, plate here on the top and add an optic. I'm not sure if SIG already released it. I think they were working on something called the Romeo Zero, 
um, where you can add, um, you know, something here on the top, or maybe even other brands are going to have, you know, um, that feature as well, or that customization available. Um, you also have the same tritium sites with the, um, you know, illuminated, um, uh, with the illuminated sites and the uh, highlighted outlined in green on that front site. Uh, both of these are polymer striker uh, pistols and um, they really give you your money's worth in my personal opinion. Uh, MSRP I believe for both of these is um, maybe like maybe $575 to $600 on the, uh, on the P365XL. Um, yeah, I think it's five seventy-five uh, on the P three twenty X compact. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but I think it might be right around six twenty-five, maybe. But they're somewhere in that ballpark, almost in the same category as every other, you know, pistol in its um, in its class. But you really, really get a lot for what um, you know for for what the price that you're paying. I mean. It really, really is uh, something that not many other manufacturers include. Um, and if they do, they're going to charge you probably another, I don't know, $150 to $200. So right out of the box, these two guns are ready to go and, um, and ready to take on whatever challenge, you know, at the range or on the field or, God forbid, any self-defense, you know, that you ever um, will need to encounter in the future. Only little complaint that I have is that uh, the slide release stands out way too much. I mean, it would have been nice if it would have been flushed with the pistol or maybe, you know, just somewhere where it isn't just sticking out here because unfortunately for me, it may vary on a case to case where I tend to rest my thumb uh, from the hand that I um, grip the gun with, not my support hand, but the hand that I grip the gun with, it so happens that, you know, it's right in that spot. So you can actually see here, you know, the discomfort that it, that, that brings if you really want to, you know, press in and, um, and get the best grip possible on your firearm. So that is just me and it can vary, I'm guessing, on a, a person by person basis, depending on how your grip is on your pistol. Uh, now, the P365, that is not an issue at all. Um, only thing that I have or had a complaint with about this one here is the magazine. Right out of the box, I know it's 12 rounds, but man, if you can get 12 rounds right out of the box, you, you know, you, you're, you're consi consider yourself you know, someone that, that's, uh, that has uh, a lot of strength because, you know, it, it's, uh, it, it took a while. I reached out to SIG. I thought it was first, um, you know, a magazine issue that, you know, that maybe it was defective or, or something. But, you know, they actually told me, hey, Junior, it's actually very common. You know, a lot of uh, customers have been, uh, you know, reaching out with that concern. But um, it's easily fixed by getting either an up Lula or uh, the mag Lula where you can just actually um, load all the uh, rounds in, in the mag. And um, once you break the magazine in, I don't know, maybe a couple times after you shoot the pistol the first or the second time, that issue is going to go away and, um, you know, it's not going to happen again. So that should actually be a challenge. We should call that like the, like the P365 uh, 12 round mag challenge out of the box but um but that's that it could be just me man you know i've been slagging on the gym so for all i know it's probably me now um something else that i wanted to uh, mention is the score that i would give to both of these guns uh on the p320x compact i would give this a nine the reason being that it is an all-around favorite what I mean by that is it's not really a full size pistol. It's not really something that's too small and uncomfortable, you know, to shoot. You're going to comfortably um, be able to still conceal it. You're going to be uh, comfortably, you know, able to, 
to um, you know either holster it or or just take it with you anywhere you go and it's not really going to be something that's you know too heavy like a full size pistol would um, and on the P365 um, I would actually give the score a 10 just because it is so different so innovative um, especially getting 12 rounds in something this size guys from far it may not seem like a huge difference when you compare these pistols back to back you know apart from maybe just a slight little you know extended on the beaver tail like just a slight little you know uh, a slight little difference there from from this position there's not much difference on the length of the pistol itself nor on the height you know maybe the slide on the uh, p320x compact um, sits a little higher but where you really notice the difference on both of these is on the width of the grip um, this pistol here the p320x compact is going to give you a full grip a full hand um you know where where you actually can solidly you know feel comfortable shooting it the p365 you're gonna have that wiggle room so you know you could see there like you hold the gun you could still have you know extra space that you really just need to replace or or readjust your your normal grip to this gun because you know as much as you would it's it, it's just it, they're not built the same way and it comes with the territory so that's one thing that you got to see here but you know for both of these they really are you know both amazing um and it's just going to be a matter of which one you guys prefer i would pick the p365 xl because going from full-size pistols this really you know it's just something that that um is an extra step because you know going from a full size to maybe a compact eh, it's not really you know a, a big deal but you know if you do want to go smaller you know for for a quick or a smaller carry on a different day this little bad boy here the p365 for me is the way to go but uh, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback that I've been getting from you guys on my channel. I'm really looking forward to making more new videos, better quality, better content for you guys in the near future. And um, just make sure that if you can, please share, like, subscribe all my videos with your friends and family because it really helps out the channel. And um, very important to make sure you leave any questions or any concerns you guys have on any one of these firearms or any other videos you want to see in the future because I want to make sure that you guys um, you know get all the answers that you guys are looking for but um, other than that guys uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this video up I want to thank you guys very much for for everything um, one last thing I'm just going to show here just a quick comparison of everyday um, you know items that we carry here you have a full Galaxy Note 9 cell phone. This is the size of um, the P320 X Compact, almost the same length. Um, it's obviously a lot wider, but you know, just so you kind of see, it's more you know, actually uh, about the uh, a, a little bit wider than than the wallet. You know, and, and again, I guess it could vary. Also, depends how much cash you carry. I really don't carry you know, any cash, but um, look at this. This is where, where I was getting to with this video. I'm sorry, with this um, comparison, look at the phone and look at the P365 XL. Look how slim it is. They're almost, you know, at, at the same size. So same thing and, and in length, just a little bit shorter than the phone. But actually, I would just say the same size because that little extended, uh, the, the little beaver tail. When you line it up, it'll be exactly in the same length. Now, um, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Um, again, thank you guys so much for the video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification for new content because I have nothing but great videos for you guys on the way. This is Pro4 Security. Guys, be safe on the holidays. 
Thank you so much. Over and out.